the shoe and now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. Misunderstood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. Understood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you and now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. I feel it all. I feel it all. I'm feeling numb. I'm feeling numb. I lost my soul. So, so. It's on the run. run. I need a spark. I need a spark. I need some fun. I need a fun. I'm in the dark. dark. Mm. Like what's to come? It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. Misunderstood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. It's understood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. Misunderstood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. Understood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. It's me versus me. It's me versus me. It's you and I. The time is now. It's do or die. I chose my path. No choosing sides. I'll tell you what comes. Hit for the ride. That guy. No more time for the bad guy. Never going back to the bad side. Need the holy water get baptized. Yeah, yeah, I'm that guy. No more time for the bad guy. Never going back to the bad side. Need the holy water get baptized. Yes, I'm that guy. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. Misunderstood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. Misunderstood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. Misunderstood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. Misunderstood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should.
Double like double up. That's a trending topic. You got this and you got that, but got no spending options. I keep quiet, but still get it rocking. I keep quiet with it in my pocket. I keep quiet, moving stuff for silent. Mm. Double like double up, double up. The money I cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up, cut up. Blessing me, you think you've been testing me. Don't mean lemons, watch lemon squeeze. Peace has been my recipe. You buy watch and bust them down. Mine is my investment piece. Heard your mix is drowning out. You need to call Trevor, please. I don't fall, I don't fear. Pearly whites, no veneers. Keep it clean, check it's clear. Water clear, pee is clear. See the light, you go dear. See the light, I go near. Let me shine, watch me shine. I'm a shine, vision clear. Double like double up, double up. The money check, check, one, two, one, two. Is this thing on? I can't hear old dog. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's on. Thank you, Sean. Thank you so much, Sean. Sean, make sure all the graphics are up now. Yes, master. Control, you're all set. Stepping like my name is I. Stepping, I feel like the guy. I got them looking like why. I never doubted me why. I never doubted my guys. You know you win if I win. I stand on ten, you on ten. I don't have friends of a friend. Only the. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone to the late night Google charts with Road Dog, and that's what I'm Road Dog. How you doing? A little different than you're used to. Looking at the charts, because that's what we do. <laughs> right now we're looking at the bubble charts right behind me. We see the dog with hat. Looking pretty good today, right? 333. How does that number just keep following everybody around? It's crazy. Oh my God, it's rubbing off on me now. Oh, thank God, it's 332 now. Whew. I thought I was falling into the same category there. How's everybody doing tonight, man? A little bit of a mixed bag there going on with the market today. That's because total threes over here just still kind of hanging around in that little area. I just can't get past my little trend line there. She's still below it, man. She's above it. Now she's below it. Is she going to drop? Did he say drop? I said drop. Is she going to drop? I hope she don't drop. Got to take a bigger look at this. Let me see the market. Bitcoin dominance is starting to come up over here on the right above my head there. But if we were to look at others dominance, which is where the hell am I? Yeah, there. This is kind of a, a different way of looking at total three in a way. This is the market dominance of all coins, excluding the top 10, which is a lot of stable coins and things like that, too. It seems to be headed up there, so maybe, maybe total three right here will give us a little bump up, which translates into layman's term, your mags are going to start pumping. It's going to be a little hard to get it going, but once the momentum gets going, then we'll be good. If we get above this line on this chart, the momentum will be there for a little while, at least, at least for a couple of billion dollars, you know, 20 billion, 30 billion dollars heading into the market. Well, that's a good come up. That's decent. Get past that and then our old baby. But, you know, this little curious orange line that I have up here it's um from where I took it that measurement on the Fibonacci this particular line is normally a reversal point so 
in the bigger picture things, we might ought to keep that in mind. We hit a top here, got another one there. We need to take a little bit closer look at this. The last thing that we want is what we call a double top, where all of a sudden there's a total market reversal. And then, oh, this is the top and we should have got out here. That's what we don't want to see. So let's take a look at that. That'll be total three indices. This is the nerd charts. If you ever see my timestamps, this is what I call the nerd charts or the they're nerdy indices. Total three. And we want to zoom out on this because that's where we get the best information with a cluttered chart. Jeez. You know what? I want to do what I rarely do. Let's clean it up. Let's just erase it all. Let's take a fresh look. Hey, let's look at things on the big scale here now. We're total threes. This is where we're going. We're looking into the future for our altcoins is what we're doing. And that 3618 is also corresponding up here with this regular 618. And for those of you who don't know the significance of that, this is a common Fibonacci area where things get reversed, or at least find a little trouble. A little hiccup, maybe a little pullback, and then maybe run up above it. Although on rare occasions, you can see things kind of slowly kind of just blast through it. That would be the hopium situation right now, but it's not what we normally see, just to be honest with you, just to put it out there plainly. So this is kind of an important place, eight, and it's an psychological number too, an even number. Wow, 800 billion. Technically, I think it's 803, but we're right there at that area. So we get past 800 billion. That's a good sign that we're, we're in some really positive territory, but we're just not there quite yet. Not trying to scare you. We're just trying to look a little bit ahead here because uh, we want this good fortune to continue. Now, is there a chance? What things on here are telling me that we might have a chance for this to continue? Can't use that yet, can I? Huh. Oh, I got your own right here. Let me lay down what I see here on the three day chart. It's like a half a week chart. A little bit noisier than the weekly gives us a little bit more information than the weekly. After we look at the weekly, we want to look at the weekly first. Let's clear that up. So let's start with your biggest time frames first and work your way down. That's the way that you'd be successful with this. Uh, that, that, let's make that rule number one or one of the rules, one of the top rules. Down here, I've got an 800 moving average of 666, and I'm not even going to discuss that. A 200, a 100, a 50, and a 300. One of these things is in the wrong place. That would be this guy right here, the 300. It should fall in this order. 800, 666, 360, which is this one. So what it means in layman's turn is that these little guys have got some work to do to get up above that. But overall, this one's in a good place, this one's in a good place, this one's in a good place, and those are the heavy hitters. That's the bulk, that's the heavy weight of this whole move that we're seeing this move and all these altcoins up and to the right. So we got that going for us. So it tells me what we got going on, anything that we got going on, because these aren't crossed and they're not in reverse order. Our momentum is strong in this game and pullbacks are to be expected. And sad to say, there could be a pullback down to here. Now, this is speculative. It'd have to go through several stages to get there. First one would be losing our areas where we are. This could be a double top area. It might be, I don't know. It's, it's a little trickier to do on this because we don't have our normal indicators, technically, that would apply. But uh, if I had to guesstimate, I would say there's a good possibility that we might get a sizable, a nice little healthy pullback here. After we go up just a little bit more to retest it, I'm just throwing this out there. Could be, we need to keep a close eye on it. There's a little bit of bearish divergence here. There's also an argument where, well, does that apply to an index? It doesn't really apply to it. It's not really being traded. I'm not even going to get into an argument because I think it's stupid. They work just fine. It works just fine. They will find it'll help you make you accurate. But here, nice, nice what I'm seeing here. I mean, it's not nice to see our histogram go down. It's getting a little weak, but there's a good sign. Look, this candle didn't drop down as much. This is our current candle. It's kind of holding strong. Kind of got, if we didn't quite make our duck lip thing, which probably should come down here and do like that. Right, that's that's what we normally call duck lips on this channel. 
I think we got something a little bit more bullish. It didn't have to get down that low before it started turning up. Keep an eye on this. This is a lagging indicator, but she tells the truth, baby. She won't lie to you. She, ta she shows up late to the party, man, but she's got the alpha. We're also getting a nice little move off this nine moving average. And the rule number... <laughs> How many rule numbers ones do you have, road dial? One of the top rules is if you're above the nine, you're doing just fine. So no worries. But didn't you just say... I'm just saying there's a possibility we want to keep our eyes out for it. Because that's usually what happens over here, and there are some signs to look for. Is this going to be a double top? Right now, it's still kind of saying, yeah, it could be, because there is some divergence there. We got a candle body here going straight across to a candle body there, yet our RSI is not quite kept caught up yet. There's a little bit of a divergence in that theory. It's not going even. It's going down. Yeah. That's called exaggerated bearish divergence for all you nerd freaks out there it's a weak form of bearish divergence meaning that it can be played out all we gotta have is price just to keep going up and it'll bring this up and there's nothing much to worry about it's just a warning sign it's like that yellow light at the stop light at the red light i don't know might have enough time to zoom through it may have to slow down keep an eye on it just look for the fuzz always looking for the fuzz don't let the fuzz see you because it's that pull you over and then it might turn into something bigger that you didn't even know was possible. I don't know. That has been a trend in the United States. Hopefully that's slowing down a little bit. Constitution. Guys, welcome to the stream. How we doing, man? Let's check out with the chat. Make sure my microphone's on. Road dog, your microphone's up. <laughs> I'm so paranoid about that. We got DP in the house. We got Strega. How's it going, guys? 420. How's it going, Crypto 420? And we got Jackson. Jackson asked for a big time. I saw that earlier. I've got that on my list here. I got a few other requests to go over first two. Some that were mentioned last night. One that I didn't see last night. Know this. If, if I don't catch... If you request a coin and I, and I somehow miss it, because I will do that. I will, or Sometimes I might see it and mean to go to it, and then I get distracted, and it's not intentional, and I don't go back. Things to do in that case is to, you know, if you want to mention it again in the chat, I'm more likely to see it when I scroll back toward the bottom. Slender asks, how's Whiff looking? We will find out. Add into my list as we go. I do have a um, some coins I need to go over. Whatever I list on Twitter, because I don't want to throw coins. Oh, I'm going to click on the string to find out about Oh, you didn't go over. You suck. I'm not trying to clickbait anybody. So and sometimes I don't make them through those lists. So it's not intentional. It's just that uh, I don't know. Things go a different direction here. But I got some good ones to take a look at. We'll get into that here shortly. Did we even take a look at Bitcoin? I always got to take a look at Bitcoin, right? Let's jump over to a four hour chart here. So far, so good. Basically, is what I'm looking at. I got so much crap on here. I can't even see on my four hour. Here we go. One hour. What's the wrong at the four hour, right? I did. Well, we were following this. Got to break to the upside of that little guy. Looks like we're struggling with this little trend line, but if we tighten up that trend line, it looks like it's found some support on it. So I'm rocking with that. It's a little scary green cloud underneath us, just ready to suck us up if we fall into it. But trend line's there to help us keep from doing that. So is the nine moving average that we're above. Reclaiming the 21. Things are looking pretty cool on the four hour, or the one hour. Looks like we're about to reclaim the nine on the four hour. Hopefully, trying to. We need to want to see that don't see that i'm um, changing my theory but it looks like we're trying to reclaim that once we do things look good we should reclaim it because we're bouncing our moving averages are you know they're they're basically strong so bitcoin doing what bitcoin does had a nice little pump up today and then of course they had to bring it all the way back down that's just your typical monday Today's Monday, right? Tuesday, Monday? I lose track. So, Bitcoin. There's still people selling, and there's still people stacking up because they know Bitcoin's the way to go. And if you're not collecting stat, sats on 
on this journey, you're missing the whole point, baby. I know there's lots of other coins out there and everything, but uh, you need to look at world, where this world is going, what they're trying to do in this world. And hopefully you'll come to the revelation that uh, this is your saving grace from God to keep you out from all the crap that's going to fall in our world over these next 10 years or so. This may be our last saving grace, and this is the market to make it in, in my personal opinion. That's why I get so aggravated when I see other people just trying to take advantage of all the new people that really need this. We, the people, need this right now. Leads me to give a shout out to the person I said I was going to give a shout out to last night. This is a uh, new to me and pretty, I guess, basically pretty new. He's got 2,000, 2,000 subscribers, 2,300 subscribers. So small channel like mine. He's bigger than me, though. Alex Crypto. If you don't know him, check him out, man. He does a good TA. I was watching him the other day. I swear, I think I saw um, Dave B over there. So Dave should be familiar with him. Seems like a cool guy. I was watching him and he, he he won me over. He started talking why he started his channel because he saw the bull crap TA putting out there. The way that they do in the bull market and then you got all the trading group gurus and stuff and he was right on it. So it's not just me to seeing people just really playing on the weaknesses of the new people coming in just to give them you know, the basic strategies. Listen, guys, I say it all the time, man. You can give someone $99 a month, or maybe you can spend $99 on a book that has more than they will ever freaking teach you and really freaking nail this game. How about that? How about this? I've got a copy of this book, which is more than $99, free in my trading group, my trading community. It's a free community on Telegram. The links are in the description in the below and in the chat. There's a copy of this digital copy over there, free for download. I'm just saying. Sorry, Tom. Hope you understand. Grab some knowledge. It's all out there. A lot of it's free on the internet. How many times do I go over Thomas Bukowski's PatternSite.com? I do it every time because anybody that's new here to this game wanting to learn how to master it without getting sucked into all the other crap, I'm showing you right now, baby, everything you need to know. You can get a, the most excellent start in your new trading career, the most lucrative, best-paying job I've ever had in my freaking life. My own hours, my own time, my own schedule, whatever. Right here. ThePatternSide.com. So give this guy, check him out. Resonates with you, give him a like, give him a subscribe, give him a follow. Alex Crypto, cool dude, cool dude. I'm with you, baby. I'm finding our numbers are growing. The ones that are out there, I don't know. We're being called to do this for free. I don't know, there's something burning inside us that tells us you need to share this. You need to share this. I think it's God, because he knows Crap's about to hit the fan. People need, need this. And if you read that last book in the big book, they talk about how this plays out and it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. And it starts with the money. And if you read that book, it talks a lot about money because money and spirituality go like this. There's a lot of money talk in the scriptures because it's important on how all this all works out and plays out. And who's behind the money? Well, the bankers. Who said that? And what used to sound like a conspiracy is becoming history. I digress. I think we should start out with a little bit of Alcoin news because there's some alpha out there and we missed it last night, so. Bear with me. We make this quick, but there's something you probably something in here you need to hear to help you make some money. So I'm not going to read articles. No, no, no. We're doing something a little different. Let's well, like what you're used to. Here. Please, for the love of God, work this time. I knew you would. It's just me. Arguing with this computer. Takes me a minute to get this up here. This is this, this way. 
he's so freaked out. There we go. Had to adjust the lighting just a little bit. What happened in the last 12 hours in crypto? This is our crypto news segment. To give credit to Layer GG over on Twitter because he's the bomb at collecting all this stuff so that we can talk about it on my show. MooVM is gaining traction with blockchain developers and markets. That's Aptos and Sui. Sui? Coinbase Assets has added Shadow Token and Neon EVM Neon to its roadmap today. Psycoin SC will be listed on BitThumb today. Eigenlayer has launched the final stage of testnet on Holsky ahead of mainnet. This would be the tickers ETHFI and ALT. Anchor has launched a layer one Neura, an AI focused blockchain. Interesting developments there then. Alex has secured 10 million in the latest funding round led by Spartan. Injective is releasing an, the iconic upgrade to the Injective Bridge. And Illumium has raised $12 million in the Series A round. Jasmine use a partnership with Panasonic to develop an IoT platform. Moving forward, folks. LAI, Layer AI, I believe. Also, GPT, Crypto GPT has announced the launch of Layer VPN Chrome extension next month. What does that even mean? LTO Network unveiled phase one of its RWA, Real World Asset Roadmap. That's on my list for tonight. KuCoin and two of its founders criminally charged with Bank Secrecy Act and unlicensed money transmission offenses. I did not know that. My, my, that's why you dumped today, KuCoin. Optimism allocating 3.3 billion worth of OP for grants to its blockchain builders by Pixel will take snapshots of Pixel's farmland NFT on April 3rd. Radicals launched Radical 1.0 RC1. Radical 1.0 features the core premise for code collaboration for all you nerdy nerds. And we missed this last night too, so let's go over what we missed last night. They came on, I checked it before we went on live, but I think it, I think he posted it while we were live. This is some other stuff that uh, may be some good little alpha for you. More VM is getting traction with blockchain developers on the markets. Uh, no, it's the same one we just read. Sorry, down here. Yeah, this is it. Anchor is teased that it will be announcing something on March 6th. All layer teased the upcoming, Upcoming launch of a staking feature, why Core DAO launched the Core Ignition six month in initiative program for the Bitcoin 5 BTC5 ecosystem. Civic Pass in is integrated with Solana token extensions, and CyberConnect has introduced its 2 million ecosystem grants program. Phantom CEO Michael Kong has unveiled Sonic's roadmap, and FTX is selling 67% of its anthropic stake for 80, 884 million in a deal with over 24 buyers. Gala Game CEO announced that six companies have signed up to develop games on Gala Chain. And IDEX announced a major upgrade to the IDEX token ecosystem as they approach the testnet beta launch. Just Foundation pro proposes to adjust UDC's market interest and collateral factors, increasing reserves. The Starknet ecosystem project SithSwap has announced the launch of a public sale of its Sith token. Starknet users will be able to obtain 15% of the Sith supply in exchange for or Stark. Portal unveiled its first launchpad partner, PlaySomo. And TruFi unveiled a plan to start real-world asset lending pl platform called Trinity to boost utility for its tokenized U.S. Treasury offering. That is our crypto news for the past 24 to 48 hours there. And some of it sounds kind of new, some kind interesting. Relating to some of the talkies, tokens that uh, we will be talking about tonight. So let's get on back to the charts here. Well, I didn't know I'd get such a welcome coming back. I'd like to thank everybody that helped me get here. 
Like the stairs that helped me get down to the basement? The kitty cat that almost tripped me on my way down? And the guardrail that helped me break my paw and kept me from breaking my neck? Thank you very much. So Bitcoin, yeah, doing what Bitcoin does, which is uh, basically going to be going up for a while. Not straight up. We'll have ups and downs, but we're in the early stages of the bull market. It's going to be pulling our other altcoins up with it. And maybe things are looking good. Well, let's get into these requests. I want to start out with Gary Token. And I think we're going to look at this one over on CoinX. Which I do have my coin X up and going. If I get enough uh, insight from you guys, we can check out what my spot margin stuff, and I can go over that and explain it a little bit better. But I, I gotta see like uh, I don't know, like one 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 or something over and over in the chat or something. If that's otherwise, we do coin. You know, we're trying to go with what you want. I don't want to bring up stuff that's going to bore the crap out of you. I don't know what's popping. I don't know. You know. We're gonna learn to you. I don't know what you want. So we're we're covering it. I'm more of a teaching channel. The covers TA and so we're on Gary Network. We need to zoom out because that's what we've not done. Let's check this out on the weekly. See how we're doing, progressing down at this bottom territory. Still looking all nice and juicy. I want to pull a little fib here from this high down to this low. I want to draw a little line right there, and I don't want to see us get below that ever again. Ever again, baby. From here on out, you can't touch it. The floor is lava. Only up. Let's go. Let's rock it. She's going to come up here. I'm not going to say for sure. She has probability. Very good probability, by the way. I'm coming up here to retest this six point, just right under seven cents, 6.9 area. Is that where you should sell and get out of this totally? I would say no, man, because you're buying the bottoms if you believe in this project. And it sounded pretty dang cool to me. I thought it was a meme coin the first time I heard of it. Find out it's very elaborate network. It's really kind of cool. Do your due diligence in your projects, but buying this low, this ain't trade. This ain't for trading. No, I mean, you can, but you'll look back, you know, at the peak of this bull market and say, God, I was such an idiot. If I'd only held on to that instead of trying to make my 3%, I'd be, I could be a millionaire. That's usually how that plays out, baby. So I think it's personally kind of silly to be trading in and out and in and out at the accumulation zones. I mean, they're kind of, you know, there's not much movement there. It's kind of a boring up and down zone anyway. The trading, all the real fun trading comes in markup, right? That's where you want to start trading. A lot in accumulation. This is where you want to accumulate, like the whales do. And they slowly build up their bags here that they, so that they can fill them off when they slowly start getting all these big old green candles on those big days. When everybody's, oh my God, it's worth something. I need to jump in right now. And the whale's sitting there. Well, here, I've got one. I'll sell it to you. I hate to let it go, but gosh darn it. I've had it for so long, but because you're... You're so sold on it. Bless your little heart. Here, let me be the one to give you one. Just being the gender souls that we are as prices come up. We want to help people get into this project too. We just want to help them get into it at a higher price and while we got into it. Somebody gave this one a fallen wedgie. I bet that hurt. Crazy thing is, we actually had a spike up here, so I actually want to count that one. Even Thomas Bukowski says, take the highest or the lowest for your measurement. This is seriously, this is what he says. He says, take the highest to the lowest. But then it gets a little bit more complicated and tells you you need to add a multiplier. But I don't want to confuse you guys. We can just do this because it works so pretty darn good. Normally, the way you take a measure move for a wedge is that you'll take the width of it. And that's your standard. That is truly your standard measure move. And that does give us confidence with that little 618 area that we just talked about. So, when I got two or three things pointing to the same area, it's like you're sitting in a room and you smell something. Oh, man. And you look around and all the kids are pointing to the little guy over here. He probably did it. I'm just saying, he probably did it. Well, that's what they do on the charts. Everything points to a certain line. There's the stinker right there. Oh, I did not color code these things, so now. Now we're good. 
So Gary looks like he's doing good. And again, we've talked about this before, man. There's not much to hold her to get back to 37 cents or maybe even 70, 75 cents. That one might even come quicker. I mean, it might not, might not even problem getting back up there. Once it gets past these areas, right? It's got to get past about 20 cents. A little congestion over here. She's in a bottom stage, ready to pop up to the upside. Just got to, they keep them in pressure, keep them in pressure, keep them in pressure, and then they pop just like they drop down here. There we go. Gary's looking kind of good. I missed this last night. Somebody was requesting slurp, and I, I saw it, and then I forgot it, and I, I apologize. So we're going to get it tonight. Slurf. It's on the weekly chart. That will not work for slurf. It's not been around that long. Come over here to the one hour. And going with what we got. Got that nice little area around 40 cents that held way back here. And then we got this nice little rounding right there. And as crazy as it seems, but I bet if you drew a Fibonacci from this little swing low to this little swing high, that it would land on a very substantial area. And the one time, the one time I say that, you don't perfectly land on it. You suck. You suck. Why do you do this to me? Why? It's it's good. We, we're finding a lot of consolidation right here. We didn't quite come down to the 886, but we, we found this air right here at the 786 and bottom out. Nice rounding shape here. I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking it. I like rounded shapes and they can continue on up. Some people are quick to call this a flag, but if you just kind of follow your parabola, which is, uh, and I mean, there's, there's, you, you can see flag formations, definitely. Doesn't mean that it's the uh, most coveted pattern in trading uh, history of the <laughs> But this is called a scallop, and what they usually do is come back and meet about the area where they where they start, right? And then sometimes they'll get rejected, flag down a little bit, or maybe come above it and flag above it. But that's what we're looking at. So we're still looking about these areas up through here to be revisited, to be retested. The cool thing is that when these things do finally pop out of this top area, they can run quite a bit, and that'd probably bring us right back up to about this 140 area we visited before. Nice formations, accumulation. What it is, is people are slowly accumulating this. This is like the big money. When big money is accumulating, you, you see this kind of thing. Or when the smart, what we call the smart money is accumulating. And they're keeping the prices down, not letting it get too high, keeping it down, just in a good area, and it just it goes, baby. And we see the same things to look for for this, in my personal opinion, is some kind of trend line wedgie type thing. And then you start seeing it going the other way and, you know, it becomes the old megaphone, the old megaphone pattern, which we have a lot of those right now, right? So bullish play, you give it time, you just kind of DCA in or buy the cheap as you can and Try not to buy the top tops. I know it gets, let's go to go. Let's go keep going. Let's go. Well, you'll get a pullback. They, they, they still accumulating. They're starting to get out of it. They're starting to make a little, a little progress here, but we got some time. And then pack your bags. It'll blast off. And we're talking about a mean point here, but this one does have an interesting history since, you know, there's whether the supply got lost or whatever, so there's no tokens to dump on anybody. What's out there is out there, is from what I understand, right? Come on, check out what you guys are. What you guys are doing? Dave P, uh, Alice Crypto. Sam Webb says the big book has an overall bullish trend. It does. It does. 68% chance. <laughs> Otter's bus. New time got me working. I always tune in. I barely can 
tune in to watch tune in to watch in two bit sure guys just appreciate that you're here however you get here baby whenever you get here even if it's not live all right so rare was another request that I had to take a look at. Looks rare. That was one. That was the one from last night that I missed. That was one from last night that I missed. I, I intended to, and I went right, right over it. So hopefully you're watching this, and we'll go over it. And here we go. Let's take a look at rare. Look at it on the weekly. I'm gonna say the same thing, man. A lot of these, a lot of these cool ones are still in accumulation, man. These are still in some good buy zones. I'm telling you, a year from now, you're gonna look back and say. Maybe I should have. So if you like the project, if you like the, the sector that it's in, and you see them at these levels, man, it's still not too late to build a bag, even though you might be paying more than you would have two months ago. I don't, I don't know if that's four cents then. You want me to pay 35 now? It's better than paying $5 in two months from now, three months from now. I'm just throwing some ideas out there. Whatever you're looking for. So she might fall back to 14 cents somewhere in that area. And then again, she may not. She may say, hell, I'm done. I'm tired of living down here. I'm moving up. I'm going to the penthouse. Controls an illusion. Blind luck to find purpose look like the same person. Don't hold too tight on your plans. See, you can pull levers, push buttons, turn keys, move the knobs around. Tell yourself you're in control. Just know that you're missing the point of what it's all about while I'm here sitting on gold. You can, you can tell me the damn thing. I'm lost. Looks like we've got this and uh, hopefully flipping this for support. We needs to. We're we'll below this line. We're, you know, danger of coming back down. However, this is when the Ichimoku cloud comes in just to give me that little piece of mindset. But don't worry. Just went through the green spot. A little sliver of green over here. I'm not planning on, eat on eating you right now. We're good. So, Ichimoku's out there giving me a little, a little assurance that uh, we're not going to die, even though we got a red dot there on the weekly saying that we can definitely get to be getting a pullback. I'm not seeing it on the three day. Everything's looking good. Look at bullish cross, the golden cross happening on the three day there. Getting your official buy signal on there. Rare's looking good to me. And what I would like to see, what she could do. I noticed we got this little kind of thing of thing going on, right? She may do this one more time. But. Maybe that'll be the last time to either break out there or pull back just a little bit and try to break. She may be getting in the stage where she's going to break out of this particular channel that we're in. So curious about that. When we got this little thing going on, I'll give it a little time. Something's going to happen. It's time for comments. So shout out to all you guys that leave comments on my video. Just take a few minutes to go over and say hi and click on some of the likes. What's the target price you think? It's getting listed on Binance and others soon. That was for Orange. We're going to take a look at that. That is uh, actually the next coin on my list. Shout out to Kiddo1943. Yeah, so I put it on the list for tonight's stream. I guess I can heart my own too, right? All right, what time? I'm in the UK. Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Probably asleep if you're in the UK. I don't know. Time to look at Zenverse again, dog. I got you, baby. It's on my list too, right after Orange. Are right, you hit that one? I think in one of my previous lives, I was a mighty king because I like people to do what I say, says Crypto Insight. Crypto Barity says, fear can sometimes be a useful emotion. Oh, do tell. We were talking about fear last night. Fear can sometimes be a useful emotion. For instance, let's say you're an astronaut on the moon and you fear that your partner has been turned into Dracula. The next time he goes out for the moon pieces, wham, 
you slam the door behind him and blast off. He might call you on the radio and say he's not Dracula, but you just say, Think again, Batman. I've had sleepless nights thinking that same exact thing. I've always... You're right. You're right. I wouldn't be surprised if someday some fishman caught a big shark and cut it open, and there inside was a whole person. Then they cut the person open, and in him was a little baby shark. And in the baby shark, there isn't a person because it would be too small, but there's a little tiny doll or something, like a Johnny Combat little toy guy or something like that. That's deep. It makes me mad when I go through all the trouble of having Martha cook up about a hundred drumsticks and the guy at Marineland says, you can't throw chicken to the dolphins, they eat fish. Well, sure they eat fish, that's all you give them. Man, wise up. You know, I never thought dolphins never had a chance to eat chicken. I mean, the chicken of the sea. I think you're onto something there, Panion. Rather not say says, I wish scientists would come up with a way to make dogs a lot bigger, but with a smaller head. That way they'd still be good as watchdogs, but they wouldn't eat as much. You guys are some deep thinkers, man. If you had a school for professional fireworks people, I don't think you could ever cover fuses in just one class. It's just too rich of a subject. Multimedia says people think it would be fun to be a bird because you could fly, but they forget the negative side, which is the preening. Trent Connor says promo SM. I don't ever know what that means. Thank you, Road Dog. Lol. Second, nothing good. Thank you, everybody, for your comments. They're very interesting, very intriguing. What a cool audience I have here. Security! Oh man, okay. That's what you think about the comments. All right, let's go ahead and let's move on now. The next one on our list. We're looking at orange, then we're gonna take a look at sin. Right now I'm gonna refresh this page because uh, this is a cool page to know about. If you're not familiar with the Tangent Wallet, you need to be. Cool Wallet works with your NFC enabled phone. Working with DeFi, so very secure. They have an option. You can either have a seed phrase or not a seed phrase. They got tangum, I think. They are only rolling out with the tangum 2.0 now, right? Which is this guy. A lot like the other one, but a lot thicker. Works with your phone. I got two wallets on one phone. It's so cool. You need lots of wallets for real. Get coins off the exchange. Keep them safe. Keep them in separate categories. Have one for taxes, definitely. And SecuX also has something very similar to Tangium. There's lots of NFT wallets over there. Check them out. Very cool there. And the four letter word that should always be in, in your mouth and never washed out with soap is dog. D-A-W-G, dog. And that will save you 10%. Let's get back into O-R. N-J. Linda says that wind went bonkers today. I like it when wind goes bonkers. I got that airdrop, and then, of course, it dropped down real cheap, right? And I thought, hmm, well, that's cheap. I should just go ahead and double it up. I like that strategy. I did that with Cat with Hat, too. You guys can see that airdrop or something? I'm finding all these little bitty airdrops. Those are little tiny ones. Mostly meme coins and things. Orange... Now we're trying to find a target. I think it was asking me where we could go, right? So this is kind of getting into the price prediction stuff, right? Which, you know, is fun. But nothing, to, I mean, as price gets closer to maybe these predictions, you need to start nailing in and say, well, is it still kind of accurate? You know, I mean, are we still, are we still in that proportionate cycle part of the cycle? You know, is it still relevant? You, you, got, you don't just, <laughs> No, baby. But all right, if you want it.
Well, yeah. are you going to see it probably lately? Yeah. I've already got them marked down too, though. Yeah. Hey. All right, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. If you want a more hopium target, one that will take a little while to probably play out, but if she gets really, like, gets really excited and starts making some really good highs, look for Dollar 74. But it's not like we're going to immediately go up there. we got lots of barriers on that way, so you just got to understand that. I've got these levels here that's going to have to fight with, and maybe you can get a reversal from. Stumble around, maybe, and then start working on some higher. That's probably what we'll kind of see here. Just to tell you, because... We don't have a whole lot of information, but what information that we do have here does tell me this. That we're basically in a channel, and that channel can be kind of extensive, and it can cover every one of these little targets that I've laid out, and those are kind of in the toppy zone, especially if you put it to the wick here, and that might be what you see. We'll have to monitor this. We don't have a we don't have another point of contact to really give this trend line validity yet. So I'm just going with the candle body in the top of the wick there. But mostly a channel up and high, higher highs, higher lows, and it'll probably do this little kind of bowl shape a couple of times, maybe even three times. There is a pattern called three rise and valleys, and that would be awesome. It's actually kind of bullish. So hope for that. So, so orange, I think it looks pretty good. And this is a three-day chart. Now, if you're looking for like the smaller term time frame, I don't know, I'm picking the two hour. Some people swear by the two hour. Above the 200 moving average. So we're good. We're making higher highs, higher lows. Everything looks kind of good so far. A little bit of very bullish divergence is helping us to maintain that. A little bit of this uptrend. So, you know, it's just got some work to do. I struggle to open doors to places that yeah, it looked like a, an interesting, outside. decent little project. I don't know that it's going to, you know, 100 or 200x on you or anything like that, but you know, it would make gains. That definitely a good ecosystem. Base ecosystem is getting hot. BRC 20s are getting hot. All the crypto is getting hot. The narratives are just going to shift and sectors are going to go into sectors. And rather than chasing the sectors, I recommend that maybe you plan ahead and try to pick the next sector because it will roll out of what's hot into something else from gaming and the AI to storage, Web3, you know, they're all going to get hot. DeFi is going to be one. Staking derivatives, they're going to cycle around. Let's go ahead and get into Sinverse. I didn't even list that on Twitter. I needed to. I forgot. Sinverse, man, we were looking and it was so close to and this is why we don't call these things out. This is why we say possible, possible, possible head and shoulders forming because it is not you can't sit there and say, well, look, shoulder, head and shoulder to the upside because it's not confirmed. You got to wait for that confirmation and it didn't. And when you do it early and it don't confirm what happens, they go down. So this pattern is not yet confirmed. It can still confirm, but it's got to get up to this trend line, at least touch it for me to say, oh, hey, we got a, a possible head and shoulders that might be confirming. Because to me, it's not confirmed until it actually breaks up to the upside of it. And then I'm like, oh, you flipped the script. Let's rock with it. So, I mean... Another thing that a lot of the new people coming in the market with the, the hand, what's, how, how can you do this? My viewpoints are changing. I'm thinking most, most, most YouTubers that I'm seeing that are doing TA and teaching and just sharing and being open, most of them are pretty good. I mean, we all got different ways of looking at it, but you'd find, you know, if you step back, you know, and look at it, it's my way, their way, whatever, you will see that we got some confluence, right? We're hitting the same number, number similar numbers, similar targets, similar, you know, even though we get there different ways, right? And most of them are, are cool. It's just, um, I, I think there's only, I'll say less than a handful that are just kind of, uh, best avoided or s stay away and I, I, rather than calling it anyone i just look for ego <laughs> look for guru status <laughs> look for anything that's cultish stay away from that 
Look, look for the, the braggarts. If you have to brag, if you gotta keep pointing out how successful and how great you are, you're probably not. I don't mean to be crass, but some of you guys can relate to this. I don't. It's weird. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want to come off wrong though. And maybe some of you girls can relate to this too. I don't know. But you meet that person that claims they're, they are all that in the bag of chips. They're going to rock your world and this and that. And I don't know. And something and you're like, all right. Talking about way back in the younger days, right? Life changes when you get older. Like, what is that? The people still do that? Honey, people still. Honey, everybody says they still do it. <laughs> back in the day, it's like, baby, I'm going to rock your world. You ain't met nothing like me. <laughs> And, and maybe you fall for it and you're like, oh my God, what? This was, this. no, honey, you don't need my number. No, no, that's, that's fine. <laughs> those who do do and those who brag usually fall insufficient. Bouncing off the 200 moving average on the 12 hour, I like that. Boom. If we can get up here and like that, that's good. Otherwise, Sinverse has got some, uh, I'm not seeing anything bad. Let's look at Sinverse right there. Yeah, it looks like we might have a trend line that's holding. There may be a wick down to the 50 moving average. We haven't really touched it yet since back here. But the 9 is above the 21. That's good. I think we're going to pop back up. I think eventually we'll come back here and confirm this. We saw this happen with, I think, Total 3 did a very similar thing. It was disappointing because I was looking at the same thing. Just wait and just wait. Rock wants to go up and they got right there and then she fell back. Even came out of the pattern just a little bit. Finally, she confirmed this inverted head and shoulders and then here we are. After it confirmed, was like, oh yeah, we're ready, baby. So Sinverse, I think just getting a little bit of, of pull, just a little bit of a pullback, and a little bit of volume came in here to sell off up here. That kind of sucked, party poopers. But uh, I think overall she's fine. Let's watch her and see if she can get a bounce here. Sinverse is a nice little play, and I'm looking for, I'm looking still for about two, about two and a half cents to come out and. And then the, I got a measure move for Sinverse, just for this head and shoulders alone right there. Take us up to 3.6. It's just taking a little while to get there. But from where we are right now to that target would be a 214% move. It will take time. This is a gaming coin, so gaming sector cycles back over. Might be an interesting one, but uh, there could be a. Ch you could pick it up a little bit cheaper. She might still have a little bit, uh, you know, stay in this range and a little bit lower. For a little bit we got kind of a bearish cross here that may happen on the macd so coming back down to oh gosh when that, that would suck 0 0.0075 maybe might happen might happen but i really like to see this trend line hold and i think it's got a good chance we're on the five day here let's come to the smaller time frame and we're under the 200 movement average on the four hour so that's the first thing you want to see is reclaiming 200 movement average on the one hour and on the four hour why are you why are you trying to sell off so much listen here even on this one let me oh man well lucy crossed over the 800 all right the 666 crossed over the 800 and the six so she's the one that's kind of being kind of bare or they crossed over her she needs to come back around but the moving averages are not that terrible. Not that terrible. If the 300 is about to cross the 800, that should be good to help us get a little bit back up. I think we're just having to mess around with Lucy. She gets that way. And, you know, it is her game. After all, I would think it makes sense that it would be, wouldn't it? She, she looks like she would live there and like it. You guys who don't know who Lucy is, is, uh... I lost her. I lost Lucy. Oh, there she is. That's Lucy. She goes with this little line right here that's causing all the trouble. And sometimes she just gets mad and wants to punch things and do things. Uh, 
She's a little tart, she is. Oh, Lucy. So we'll keep our eye on this one. I've still got my bag of Sinverse. Taking a look at Dust Network. Ooh, baby, baby, look at that. This is a four hour time frame. We were talking about this guy. But hey man, Dust kinda cool. It's a cool little project. If you don't know anything about Dusk, Tokometrics is really liking it. Let's look it over in Tokometrics so I can prove it. Crypto is verify, don't trust. That's the heart of crypto. And that should apply on your influencers do verify don't trust we gotta show you now sometimes they can show you things to make it look like something like when they start looking at numbers and talking about portfolios and stuff but profit and loss that's a different thing okay so dusk here it is on token metrics and it's got a very strong buy but i'm looking more at the investor side of it which is also a high buy right market cap 289 million still very very small small cap Circling supply is 457 million. Total supply is 500 million. So most of them are out there. So it's, you know, it's not a new project. It's been around for a little bit, not too, too long. Look at this. Valuation grade is 98%. It's still undervalued. Investor grade, 79%. Fundamental grade, 71. Technology grade, 89. That is crazy. Not many of them are up there, especially that are undervalued. And not many of them have a, a good technology. You know, all, all these things aren't always in the tops. Fundamental grade and technology grade. They don't always match up. This one's got some high numbers. And Dust Network for the website. Regulated and decentralized finance. Businesses, institutions, users. Our mission is to unlock economic inclusion by bringing institutional level assets to anyone's wallet. Dusk is the only privacy first technology to bring classic finance and real world assets on chain. There's a real world asset play. And of course they are pumping. So let's zoom out and see what we got now. Cause my targets got hit except for this one up here at 75 cents, but let's we'll see what we got. Clear you out. And I told it. Well, I raced it. Nice little double bottom there that played out very nicely. Wouldn't you say? completes our accumulation for this cycle right there. The relation is now over. You may now progress to markup. So I would always look for a possible retest back to that breakout area for that zone. It can happen. So, and it, it, it probably will happen. Just to come back and touch it one more time. If not, you know, may not happen anytime soon. We may, you know, on a market crash or something. Because they, they, they occur. Well, now we're in the stage where we can really dig into these fibs. This will be the main area that I'm looking for. We're getting a little bit of resistance at the 50% area right now. So we are at a fib level now that we're trying to work through. If we can work through that little guy. Well, that's just all the much better. How's the music mix, everybody? Is it a pretty decent mix? I just downloaded it all today. Seventy-five cents is what I would really be looking for, really. But uh, there is a chance maybe she will get rejected here, so keep that in mind. I was like, I'd like to come in now. Uh, she may do her little accumulation again. So we'll find out where she's going to top out, and then we can determine how far down she's going to go. Right now, we would be pulling out and speculating. And I really don't want to do too much speculating. I'd rather go with concrete data. But we can do this. We've got a trend line established right there. Also giving us a little confluence. 76 cents. It might slowly kind of make a little trip up there. Do you notice that the pattern she's forming is a bearish pattern. Rising wedges do break down. So you know how much? Do you want the real number? 60, not 68. 
and not break up 68, but breaks down 60% of the time, meaning that they break up to the upside about 40% of the time. That is from Thomas Burkowski, but then again, just like I told you earlier, verify, don't trust, go look it up yourself. I showed you where it is. Do it. This is how you learn. This is how you get this stuff in your head. You go look it up. You don't pull it out of your butt. A lot of people pulling them out of their butt. They still talking about it today. I call it a 50-50 pattern, but it breaks down. <laughs> You're the only one that calls it a 50-50 pattern. You're the only one. No one else does. Just you. Cospa. I got a mess over here. Zoom out. What'd I do that chart? What did you do to deserve all that? Can't even see what I got going on here. So she had a little nice bounce, right? And then she started coming back south today. That sucked. I got this little guy right here, which seems to be holding. Hopefully it will continue to hold. It may not. If it doesn't, then back down to these trend lines. But this area where we're at now, 13 and a half cents. Looks like it's trying to hold. We need it to hold. Need to get back above that nine moving average there. If it doesn't, 12 and a half. If it does, I'm going to buy it. And Market Cypher says, yeah, that could be happening. It really could. I know. This little support line you just drew, Road Dog. I, I, I know you think you're being cute, but I'm about ready to step all the way through that. Dang, Casper. We'll get real. So she might be making her way down here. We got a little, ooh, four hours. What we got going on here? It's Lucy. All right, now if Lucy's involved, if Lucy's involved, she's, she's, She's double crossing this 800 moving average right here. If she's involved, I'm finding her. I'm chasing her. Price going to come to her. She's got that little magic spell thing. You're coming to me. You're coming to me. They're going to come to me and then I'm going to smack you. I'm going to smack you. So we're waiting on that. So currently on the four hour, that's about 12. Let's look down here. 12 and a half cents. Gosh darn it, Casper. They look like he was going to blast on the moon. You're playing with the devil. Don't play with the devil. She would lead you wrong. Leave that devil alone. Leave that devil alone. Go up to the sky where the angels sing. That's where you need to go. I'm an angel. Go up here. Look, angel. We need to just give you a little direction. I want to draw a little pair of angel wings right up here so that you remember where you need to be going. Look, there's a little halo. Draw a little head. Oh, well, Casper, I need you to go up, go toward the light, Casper, go toward the light, don't come down here with Lucy, Lucy's, Lucy's going to get you, uh, Lucy and her little devil horns, stay away from Lucy, she'll eat you. Haven says eagle soar with eagles. Crypto Force says it's a loop for when they talk about that their new car. Yeah. Well, here here's the thing, and, and, and you see this happen a lot. They've got a cash cow system. It's a cash cow system. It's they're gonna make money and they're gonna start flashing it. And then so they're gonna be putting themselves above their audience and separate that they're going to lose what happens with politicians they lose touch with their constituents right they, they they're on a different playing field and think of in cycles past you'd have the people that would make money and then think of carl the moon mclaren's this and that and he's talking of you know money beyond in people, what most people can battle and that's a little shady too but anyway but he started out supposedly as a, as a grocery store clerk and learned how to trade and then became a, a YouTuber. Now, yeah, one interesting thing about Carl the Moon, he was interviewed, I think, at some news place, but he says, I, I wouldn't call myself a trader, I would call myself an influencer. Those words came out of his mouth. 
But now, I mean, with for instance, we had a big ass crash in this market. Everybody was hurting. Everybody was bleeding. And Carl the Moon comes out with this big sports car. I just bought this Bugatti, Bugatti or something, whatever. Oh, no, let's drive, you know, doing all, and it's just like rubbing salt in everybody's wounds. And that hurt it. But it was just so far detached from how everybody is pain, how everybody actually lives that, you know, so things like that can happen there. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious to see how this plays out. Money will change people. It really will. So, you know, think about those, that situation in your own life, too. You don't want money to control you. You want to control it. Hey, there's Joe. Joe from Trade Intuition. Another YouTuber. And guys, if you have trouble in this market, we're here to help. Joe also has a channel. Gives excellent, excellent TA. He gets into the psychology of it. I've even got one of his uh, trading psychology videos on our Telegram uh, community there. I think he's found, I think he's uh, probably going to put it on his too. It was fire, fire. Check him out, man. Check out Joe. He has great TA and great strategy. And if you're, especially if you're, you're if you're not comfortable about reading in the market and what to do, like the steps in trading, what you can do at this point, what you can do at that point, your options, maybe how you can look at it. Check him out. He helps you see some things you may not see. And that's the kind of people that you need. No way, Joe's my favorite. See, there you go. Rising Sun, how's it going? Appreciate the live. Hey, I appreciate being here. I'm happy to be alive today. It's a great day. I'm alive. I'm breathing. Walking. Good health. It's a great day. I am blessed. We're all blessed. Because everything could be a whole lot worse. And it ain't. So it's a good day. I like that. Let's see, we looked at Casper. Big time was request, right? Yeah, let's do big time. That was requested. Big time. Uh, over on, I guess Binance looks good. Probably already have a chart here. Let me get these bigger moving averages out of the way. And noisy. Although they're <laughs> right in with price action right now, and that's kind of concerning. Where did I connect my dots? And we're a little bit above those dots. So I'm going to ride with that. And it looks like this little trend line is holding up fairly well there. Now we did a fib pull. That one's got a really deep retracement there. So I would actually be looking right here at the 618 that we got, that target that we have, that higher high that we've just not made. Short term for big time, that's yeah. that's actually where I would go. Look, so she had her nice big run up and then it's down and then sideways. It's kind of what happens after a big run up. It's reaccumulation and, and all that good stuff. Yeah, I gotta rechange this. I put this, uh, I just noticed this. I've used the wrong word on my Bitcoin dominance. I, I, I really should have consolidation rather than accumulation. Not just something I noticed. I don't need to change that. So 70 cents is kind of what I would be looking for for big time. And then we can look and see making higher highs more than likely we would if you're looking for another i know i got 118 over here um i'm gonna also add 109 if you're wanting something just a little bit higher if you're looking for a higher high than what we got over here that's the first one i'd look at see what the strength looks like as we get up there so where we where we are and we're bottoming out on this trend line seems to be respecting this so it's a good place to get in how do you know i pull a swing out a swing low and we're just now getting out of our little accumulation for this leg 
So I like it. And at 70 cents, it'd be 80% gains at that point. And at a dollar nine, you'd be looking at 178. I do have a dollar 19, dollar 20 target could come in play. That'd be a 200%, but you know, that's a little far away. Might we have something else to work with? Look at that. See how angles work? What's it there? I just went from there to candle bottoms. And then I got the perfect candle angle from that wick to over here. It's just crazy. So I'm just kind of playing around. I would keep that angle there. But you're right there. Just rest you right there. That gives us confidence. Hey, the top of this little trend line here is our target at 618. dog has three Lambo. My wife did buy me a Lambo. It's a little matchbox Lambo. And I got a, a Ducati, which is a little bitty remote control one. So yes, you are correct. I'm still driving the same car that I've drove for a long time, actually. I ain't ready to just spin inflated prices on the car just yet. I had a convertible, but my wife made me get rid of it. Love that little thing. It's be too old now anyway, but I like convertibles. Grimmer says next Sierra. Let's do that. She's been doing good. What took her a while to start moving, though? It's about ready to like, get impatient with her. I'm like, how long have I been holding you? <laughs> Why are you here in this? You stay at the top of my port. I got her on my DJ portfolio, but she's been staying toward the top, but she just hadn't moved up or down. I'm like, are you ever going to do anything? My story behind this one is uh, kind of wild. It was when Alliance Blockchain, I was doing videos on it, and I was getting into it. And then it crashed and I just put a, like a $50 order out at some low ass price. Just like, all right. And I don't know, man, I got, got some orders filled there somehow. And then when they gave the tokens out or whatever, I mean, they sorted it all out. It, it seemed like I come out with about twice as much as what I started out with or something. I came out ahead somehow. But it wasn't fun to do all that. I, I was the crazy kid says, what? There's a hack? Let's go buy some. Let's buy it real cheap. <laughs> See how this works out. I don't recommend that. So we hit our one target over here at 20. That's orange. That's probably a fib. We're holding that. Are oh, you breaking up to the upside of this? Because that could be bullish if you hold that. If it holds that, I'd say screw that target. Because it's going to do something big. Zoom out. I can't zoom out. There's not enough price history. You're older than this. I'm on a bad chart. Let's give it. Let's go with a uh, coin. I think it's right at it. That was Kuk you suck. What the hell? Something's not right. Oh right, right, right. And then the token. Yeah. Okay. March twenty-three. March twenty-three. Okay. Gotcha. 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 It's so it's just been out about a year then, huh? Well, all that stuff is played. Let's play, ways, play around with some different ways to get some higher targets here. Without fibbing you out all the time. We ain't got a target because we ain't got no place to go. It ain't easy, that's for sure. 
Oh, do we have a disposal right now? It's pretty much a measure move. And since he's getting kind of bullish, this may not mean anything. This is probably one of those times when you might want to actually take the whole length of that move. From there to there. Or just pull it straight down to match up with this point. And Thomas Bukowski will do this sometimes. But then he's also got a multiplier for a lot of things too. Measure moves are normally pretty easy. It's pretty much just the width. And, and generally you just go to the peak and if you pull straight down, you're, you got a good one. Although, Thomas Bukowski's method is preferred. What did I just do? Did I do what I was talking about? I'm trying to race it. I'm not one of those that take that and redo the moves. I'm picky about my moves. So 36 cents. All right, let's see what else we got. Ain't an ounce of confluence with that. Ooh, a 27, a 414. I like you though. Personally, for me, I like these guys. So we're in price discovery. I would roll with my fibs more than I would a, a measure move from, you know, not the greatest pattern on a bullish breakup, which could exceed the measure moves. But let's see how it plays out. But the fibs do really, really good because they take into consideration the ratios of this whole. It's just magical. It's just magical. Camera. I can't remember where I get the bottom. I gotta line up this little dotted the this little guy. It gets a little tricky when they're so small. <sighs> Three six one eight from this move right here. You should get a pullback, Mister. You should. You just extended yourself. So she may come back to twenty two cents on us before moving any higher. That was cool. Yes, um, baby. 41 get you some out of here i'm not i'm not riding with this one yeah well let's leave it up for let's leave it up just for poops and giggles and my poops and giggle ones i put a different color <laughs> like some kind of gray So he's telling me you should be a toppy toppy out right here for your most of your this particular move and come back and uh, let's see if we can get catch some support there. Ooh, look at you, baby. Did you already dip back below here? Bless your little heart. Break back into that pattern, baby. Let's do it. Let's rock it. We want this line to hold if we break back into the pattern. I mean, there's definitely a possibility of coming back down to the bottom of the pattern. If not, just only to the 200 moving average, it's 16, 17 cents. We don't want that to happen. We want 21, 22 to hold. Looks like she's already came back to do a little retest. Two hour time frame. She's above the nine, above the nine on the one hour. Nice little roundy, roundy thing there. There is some divergence definitely there saying, baby, I'm ready to rock. I think she's bounced off. She's ready to go. Is it divergence? Make sure. No, 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 no. I got tricked by a wick. It was a candle, a candle. It's leaning to the upside. It's still leaning to the upside there. I don't want to call that wrong. There is a little bit from back here to there. Now that's, that's enough for this bounce too, though. What hour looks pretty interesting to me. Looks like it's trying to uh, actually make a move. Let's cheer it on. Still, I like 40 and 45 cents. There's some shorter, you know, some 
higher targets, but I think this one can do a lot more than just that. If you're doing it for a midterm or long term hold, I think it's got a lot. It's more, it's just taking it a while to get there, though. Dog with hat. Amazing. We're at 325 right now. Got as high as 348 today, looks like. Uh, don't you wish you'd buy a lot more down here? <laughs> don't you wish it was stocked up like all hell back here when it's like inverted head and shoulders? I took a measured move on this one and then sold. All right, I sold too early. Look at that on a tear. How much are we up on this? We've already done a 5X. Amazing. Amazing. I probably need to go visit my liquidity pool. Taking into account this wick right here. Because I don't have to draw my... I mean, uh, eventually I will draw it like this because it does line up nicely. But when I start out, I'm always looking about where it's been and where the trend line was the strongest. And look, just doing that just tells me everything I need to know on the original trend line here. Yeah, we're about ready to pop back into it. Hopefully. It's finding some resistance there, so. Uh, this is one of those uh, inside trend lines. So if we can break up to it, we can go super bullish and nice rounding shot. Rounding makes me think that we have that chance to do that. I think that's kind of good. I want to see that. I want to see you bop up above this line, retest it, and then that, that should give you enough to shoot up. That puts you back into the original pattern. Which is uh, holding this trend line kind of nice. So what do you think about... Five seventy five dollars and seventy cents for dog with hat. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Let's fine tune that just a bit. Let's go with six dollars and twelve cents. Let's go with five forty five. Fifty or four dollars and fifty-four cent with, or three ninety-eight. Uh, that one's gonna be too easy, I believe. Whip is looking kind of cool. Says a Rolls Royce will last a while. Woo! Them high dollar. GFI up 50 cent from last night. Let's go. It is. I think I missed that one. Can't catch them all. That's a good one. I meant to. Mm. Maybe I'll find out that my DJ did me right. I don't know, but wow, look at that. Look at that. You gotta respect that. Let me get rid of this fib. So we can see the chart. Where is it? Amazing. I should just I got charted over here, had a major movie 131, and here we <laughs> blast all through everything that we've ever had there. Cool. Just like we want. That's a stops from happening, man. That's, that's, that's what you want to happen after accumulation, and that's just getting started. So, Salenda so killing it. That's awesome. Look at that. See, we're at an 886 right now. She may be getting toppy, but I don't know. I'm not... Let's 
see what oh man you're the one with the crazy wig let's take that wick into consideration this time see what we come up with Please don't pretend with that love that you send in this If you like me, I call me the Bennett Somebody tell God, forgive me, I'm sinning I think that she know, but he got me, I'm winning Cloud is a dangerous drug and your phone is the plug Everybody on that, they're pretending So many lost and they chasing what's trending Well, yeah, let's forget it, I'm back to my sis I'm only helping a man in the mirror From here on, I'm open, I'm focused Okay, I lied, if you riding, I'm riding I put on the folks and trust in me Get with it, come f with me I don't bet it's love, you stuck with me I'm coming and clutch for me Get with it, they get lost, ain't nobody touching me, yeah, yeah, yeah. She like me, she might be what I need. That is still too far away. Let's get a weekly candle blues here. Oh, we got a little revelance right there now. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So I went to the candle close to start. So on this accumulation zone that we've identified, we're getting a little bit of rejection. Might she come back down to reaccumulate within here? Let's see. She should be about topped out. I just want to check a few things there. Hopefully you're taking some, you paid yourself on it a little bit anyway, right? I would hope. Okay. Wake up and beg up this year. Jump out of crib. Stack out my scene out this year. 1618. And we're under it now. Might have, might have hit her a little bit of a rejection area. I mean, these are the rejection areas here. Fit me. Or maybe she can pick up some steam and keep going. I'm showing more love and shit. Running more place for the scale of my business this year. The world in my palm, I'm a star. I deliver my cadence. I'm serving up chills to my peers. Bringing the breath of the fan. Everything good on the side. Everything coming together. No whip, no leash. So this particular movement that I'm doing this on, technically, it could reach up to here. I mean, I'm not saying no immediately go up there, but after fighting and pullbacks and things like that, that should be kind of the toppy top of what this has started anyway. Ichimoku Cloud looks really nice. I like that. Momentum is coming up. Money flow's coming up. I like it. Those stochastics are topped out. That's price can skyrocket with stochastics just leveled out at the top. That, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, put this put the speedometer, just put the pedal to the floor is what it is. The pedal's to the floor. We good on this side. Everything coming together. No whip, no leash, no key. They heat it. California on the plate. I'm out here playing for keeping. I pull up, she leaking. She want me for the weekend. Let's come down to the smaller time frame, see what this stuff translates to on it. It's so nice. <laughs> she doesn't want to slow down. Make her stop. Man, best thing I can look at over here is like the nine moving average. And it's got a little confidence with a 618. Maybe you get a pull back there. 448, maybe 368. Definitely ain't time to buy, but this is a good time to plan on when to take profits. And again, this area over here might... Uh, you might see a little bit of a stronger resistance there. I don't know what I would do. Let's keep an eye on the cloud as... I'm not concerned. I mean, it might come up here and flag out, get a little bit of rejection, but if price starts coming into like a big, thick Ichimoku cloud on... on especially on these smaller time frames. Lunch is on top of... And I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I'm just seeing I want to go. I want to keep going. I just keep seeing breakout after breakout. I keep seeing look. I keep seeing another bearish pattern that, that broke to the upside. So I don't 
Oh, that's that's some condos with this area though. So I think she's got some more to squeeze out of her, but we should be getting to a rejection somewhere, somewhere sub five dollars anyway. Though. And look over to the left, and you can see the the problems that she had some areas right over here, just a little higher than we were. And I'd, it'll be cool if she wants to keep going after that. That's awesome. But these are the areas I'm kind of looking at. She should be topping out at right now. Anyway. Hope I'm wrong. That's actually on my list there. I couldn't just couldn't read my own writing. And, and boom, I got that one too. How can you? Get a decent time frame here. This may be holding. Or I guess this dotted trend line holding. A little ish. It doesn't look like much of a trend line on this particular time frame. But she's doing something. Nice little bit of rounding structure right there. I like that because you got the. Um, for a local pattern, you can. Uh, you got those little bear, bullish makeup on patterns, which have like a 70% chance to break the upside. Even though she broke to the upside and come back and looks like she's testing that one. That makes some sense too. I like that. I think she's going to uh, she'll just accumulate and she'll run again with the rest of the memes there. Looks like they're starting to get a little warmed up again. They're showing us some early signs. Oh, and nice. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, baby. We're just retesting this. Yeah. I'm still holding over this target. 8631. And we're, we're at what? 4150? It's about 2x coming. And then Book of Meme, I think it probably fell back a little bit too. I can't even read this. What, is, what the hell? Are these my new targets or are they my old targets? What happened? We're too far along. What happened here? Let's do a different time. For, yeah, this is good. Four hour. Normally I like to draw patterns first, but lately I've just been doing the fibs first. Just because, I don't know, they're just quicker, faster sometimes. And I can kind of visualize you know, any patterns there. Maybe I should draw them out. But you don't always have to approach everything the same exact way. I mean, in the beginning, you probably, you want some kind of little system that you can systematically follow to get you kind of used to it all. But then after a while, I mean, it's just, you know, start with whichever tool you happen to grab out of your toolbox. It seems appropriate. You don't screw in a screw with a hammer though. I mean, you got some rules, but. So lost this trend. By technical definition, you can take a measure move and it would come back down to these areas, but this is holding and I like that. And it actually came up to ride that trend line a little bit. To me, those are bullish signs when you get a breakout and it starts leg riding, it's what I call it. Uh, just using me in this consolidating here just for a bigger move. And you probably take a fib and use that approach. I like that. She came to the 50 and she's holding a 3.8 right there, right? That gives us this, this little guy. So she definitely has some little struggling to do because this trend line is going to be wrecked some habit, but she can get on a new trend line. So basically, I would expect her to keep this angle somehow. 
So once she kind of gets a little bit established, you can kind of pull it. And you can see there's a little bit of respect there, right? Bottom and then it fell through there. So at some point, she's going to establish, I believe, usually you can see them establish that same angle just on a diff different trajectory. Watching for that. And then, you know, you've also got... That didn't work. You've also got your other little things to, to look for here. I always start looking for channels first, but some people will start trying to do a descending triangle. Sometimes, to me, I think people, it's those, that one particularly, I think, is easily forced. But sometimes I see people cutting through candle bodies, and as a general rule, not to cut through candle bodies as much as you can, because you're not going to be as accurate if you do. But sometimes you can get the candle bodies and a wick, and, you know, it could be forming out something like that. These normally break to the downside, but when they do, they make this, what we started out with. I'm just saying, so I just, if you start out with it, you're already prepared for it, right? And if you play this little game, then you can do this little move. I'm still putting it at the bottom of that. And that gives us confidence right back to this area. So, a couple of things wanting to maybe sub two cents for a uh, boom. 1.99. I got two things saying, yeah. So, let's look for maybe a support here, maybe a breakout of this, and then suddenly work our way up to there beneath this trend line. Same with us. I've hammered a screw before. Hey, it didn't work out too good. You ever screwed a hammer? That's the, that's the real question. <laughs> don't answer, please. No one answer that question. That was not supposed to come out of my lips. Slenda says, I added to my GFI bag last night. Slenda knocking it out. Congratulations. I like to see you guys win it. I like that. That makes me, I mean, it ain't my, it's not me, but it's you. I like to just see that you're doing it. Applying whatever techniques that you're using in this market. Maybe, maybe I've had a hand in it. Maybe somebody else. I don't know. I'm just glad that you're winning. Let's be happy. I can just be happy. Just be happy. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I think I went over everything on my list. I think I've got everything that we talked about tonight. Running out of time here is now 12.09. So we've been going for a little over an hour and a half. Appreciate you for hanging out with me. Go with God. God will always... Man, he's just there. You can't get away from him. You might as well just embrace him. He's always going to be right there inside your head, inside your hair, inside your nose, everywhere you don't want him to be. God's there and he loves you. You might as well just go ahead and say, I give up. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to bless you, son. Let me let me throw this crypto fortune on you. You can ask. Guys, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Do I have anything clever for you tonight? Come on, come here, bud. Not really. Come on. <laughs> you freaky dog. Oh. I don't need to analyze every word that comes out is a lie. Make you look like you're so ice, ice, ice. You won't make it to the finish line. Nope. If you gotta know the truth, was gonna let you. And I don't care what anybody says. Be not your keys. It's not your crypto. No one can ever take my crypto from me. I use hardware wallets with encrypted seed phrases. And I dare you no IQ idiots to even think about coming after me and my crypto. You have to grab my private keys out of my cold, dead, diamond hand. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Who was that? Unit 5, set up a perimeter with Unit 6. Copy that. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, he's in there. Oh, he's in there right now. Oh, what was going on here? Well, 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 Mr. Jones. At last we meet. Who are you? Agent Harold Dick from the Wallet Enforcement Agency. And I'm sorry about the doors and the windows, I did lightly knock. 
Mr. Jones, we are executing a FISA warrant to search this premises for unregistered crypto wallet keys. Hey, you don't mind if we take a look around now, do ya? Oh, look what we got here, Harry. Well, that didn't take very long at all now, did it? What do we have here? Oh, this wouldn't be a book of unregistered wallet seed phrases, would it? Son of a Oh, you make my job just way too easy for me. Jackpot, boys, good job. Go ahead and cuff this loser, boys. <laughs> Daddy's probably getting a promotion out of this one. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Jones. See you around.